What are your favorite things about photography? In today's video, I'm going to talk about five of my favorite things about photography and why I like them so much. Hi there, I'm Jennifer Cook, and I'm a photographer and videographer serving both Tennessee and Virginia. My goal is to educate other photographers, share my experiences, and share a glimpse of my daily life with you. So when I was planning this video and kind of thinking about what I wanted to talk about, as far as like one of my favorite things about photography, um, there's kind of like five major things that I really, really love. So the first thing, my first, my favorite thing about photography is golden light. I love, love, love golden light. Um, we can just be like driving around the car, and me, uh, so Daniel and I, and like it's just like the sun is setting or like the golden light is perfect and I just like it's like I want to get out of the car and take a picture like everywhere where I see the light perfect like it can literally be on the side of like a road side of a highway or like or like in a city or a town or a field like anywhere if I see golden light I'm like oh my gosh that's so pretty and I want to get out and take a photo I need a bottle I need something to take a photo of and well first of all I can't just get out of the car every time I want to take a photo like that <laughs> but but it does go through my mind and I'm always watching like how the light is outside kind of how it falls like whenever like I'm walking around or driving around I'm noticing how the light is falling on people's faces like how the light makes people's hairs glow um, like I'm just I'm watching for all these things and I kind of do it like without even thinking about it like I'm just gonna be walking like to a store and like I literally am like oh my gosh like the person's hair is glowing even though I'm like it's like I'm not thinking about oh I need to focus on the hair glowing I just notice it like automatically and so because of that I just think that my favorite thing about photography is just how light can make or break an image and so and especially during golden hour um or like about like about like two hours for golden hour into golden hour is like the best time to do photography and and I love it so that's like and so and I love doing this with like family sessions senior sessions um, and weddings um, oh my gosh like I can't even like it's like when I thought about what my like top favorite thing about photography was it was hard to choose but I but golden I think it's golden light because you can use it in so many different ways um, for so many different sessions so like it's not just like oh golden light only works for one thing it's like no like you can use it in so many different ways and there's so many different style like editing styles you can use it for and like and I have my editing style that I like to use it for but I just love how you can use light to make so many different types of images, um, but also to create consistency in your images as well. And so that's kind of why golden light is my favorite. Um, also because it just, it creates like glow. So like if you reflect the golden light back in people's faces, like a little bit, then it'll make their eyes glow. And that's kind of like my thing, like getting like, uh, especially when I'm working with seniors, getting like their eyes to glow, that's like my thing. And so speaking of seniors, um, my second favorite thing about photography is actually just working with seniors. So like, like high school seniors or college seniors, like that is like seniors are just my jam <laughs> because you get to incorporate like the golden light and then pictures of these seniors. And when you put the two together, it's just like fantabulous. And I also really like, um, the reason why I like working with seniors, I really like that age because I'm kind of like, I'm still like kind of close to that age, very close to that age. And so because of that, I get along with these people very well and I can relate to where they are in life. Um, so like, cause like, and especially like me, like in high school, I didn't get like, um, like I had some senior portraits taken, but I didn't hire like professional photographer to take senior pictures. And so I'm really passionate about like actually like making the investment to hire a senior portrait photographer um, when you are graduating high school because they're gonna know how to like get, get the best type of photos for you. Um, and so that's kind of just something that um, I think is really important. Um, but I also really like working with senior girls um, because like high school is hard and like there's all this drama that happens throughout it. And like I can relate to like just the weirdness of high school and just how like just how it's a hard time of life to get through and so because of that like and because I'm like close closer to their age it's like I can relate like I'm not I wasn't like I'm not like I'm not like 20 years removed from that you know like I'm still like in that um that zone of understanding like that high school's hard and whatever you went through it's hard and so I can relate to them and so because of that like we can just even during our senior sessions we can just like talk and and it's like I can pretend I'm back in high school again and it's honestly really fun <laughs> Um, and I can do that same for like college students too, because I really, um, I really much enjoyed college when I was in it. And so 
like being able to get back into that time period of life and work with them, like talking to them about their plans for the future, what they're doing. And I also love just like getting to know younger people and helping them see like a vision for what they could do with the rest of their life. Like helping them find like, um, like if they want to start their own business or if they're like planning to go working for like a company, like just hearing about what they're planning for their life. Like, like I like getting to know people during the sessions and before the session and after the session. Establishing like in a relationship with seniors is really probably like, Besides, like, doing the photography part, it's, like, my favorite part about, like, actually, like, working with seniors. Just, like, being able to establish a relationship with them. Um, and having that, building that relationship makes it, like, it's not all about the photos. Like, it's more about, like, I want to get to know you and what you want to do with your life. And even if you're trying to still figure that out, because I get it, like, in some ways, we're all still trying to figure out what we're doing. And it's kind of just, like, a step-by-step -step process. So that's kind of why I like to work with seniors so much. Um, I specifically like to work with senior girls. I have worked with senior guys before but I definitely much more relate with the senior girls. Um, and so combining golden light senior girls and just building a relationship with them is like my thing. My third favorite thing about photography is the Canon 50 millimeter aperture of 1.2 luxury lens. And I love this lens. I use it for weddings, seniors, families. Um, but I really love it for senior portraits because of the sharp, like glowing images it creates. So when you take that golden light and you have a beautiful senior girl and then uh and then you have this lens it just you can create just like magical images i mean like i just i love it so much um so that's kind of that's my favorite lens and i love being able to just bring out the beauty that already exists in these girls and just show them like you're gorgeous like look at this like oh my gosh and that's like that's my thing that's what i want to do my fourth favorite thing about photography is uh, kind of along a, it's kind of like a different thing um, but it's um, the Canon 100 millimeter um, 2.8 aperture luxury lens um, this is a macro photography lens and I love it because I love it for ring shots um, on a wedding day um, I love being able to capture ring shots and the reason for this is because kind of like a deeper reason I actually made like a little like blog post on my website about why I think macro ring photography is important on a wedding day and it's because like these rings are showing like um, their circle and so they're an eternal symbol of love. Um, and so I think it kind of shadows like God's eternal love for us. Um, and so because of that, I think that making a priority to capture really good ring shots on a wedding day, um, that's important because it's a symbol, the ring, I mean, you spent a lot of money on it first of all, and like it's a symbol of your eternal love for each other which also reflects god's eternal love for his children like his unconditional love and so because of that it's kind of like all mixed together and it, it goes much deeper than just like a piece of metal it's like a whole symbol for this eternal promise of love from god and and then you're telling when you get married you're telling your spouse like i'm going to eternally be committed to you um and so because of that i think it's important to capture um that really important symbol of unity um, on wedding days and macro photography it it just blows up wings it's just like it's an artsy way of doing it um, and so that's something like I'm also really passionate about for wedding photography specifically and so the last thing that I really really love about being a photographer and doing photography is I just love talking about photography just ask my husband Daniel <laughs> And then any of my friends who know me, well, I will just talk, talk, and talk, and talk about photography all day long if you don't stop me. <laughs> um, and so that's why like, I wanted to start a YouTube channel because um, I have all these things in my head and I want to get them out and I want to share it with people. And doing this is and it's the best way to do it. Uh, but I also really love mentoring other photographers, other people. Because um, when I first started photography, there was a lot of questions I had that I couldn't just find the answer randomly on the internet for it. Uh, so because of that, um, I also like offer mentoring sessions, one-on-one -on -one mentoring sessions with photographers. There's a page on my website for that. So um, if you're interested in that, you can inquire through that. Um, but I love doing this because there were mistakes I made early on in my business that I wish I hadn't have made. And if I'd had someone to mentor me and kind of help me along that process, like someone who I could actually like, talk to who was like affordable, um, then I may have chosen to go that direction. That way I could have learned um, faster and grown faster. And so because of that, I want to provide mentoring sessions that are affordable. I mean, like think of it this way. It's like <clears throat> I played um, violin growing up and lessons are like <clears throat> anywhere from like, I think I, what was it like for like a 30 minute uh, lesson, it was like anywhere from 
$15 to like $50, depending on the level of expertise you have, like the teacher you have. But then for like an hour lesson, you could pay upwards of $50 to $100, depending on who you're like, um, who's teaching you. It really depends on what their experience level is. Okay, so like for, <laughs> photography mentoring is kind of like giving photography lessons, right? And in my like brain, it's like um, going to college for photography is probably gonna be much more expensive than just learning with, than going along the journey with someone, learning from someone who's already been doing it for several years. And so because of that, and like, I don't, like a photography like major would be cool from a college, but college is definitely very much for like the experience of college. Um, you pay a lot of money for the experience. And so I actually think that it's more beneficial to have like one-on-one -on -one mentoring with a photographer than it is to even have a photography degree. Now, I would say this also depends on the type of photography you're going into. Um, because if you're just going into portrait photography, you can probably do mentoring. But if you're going into a different type of photography that's maybe more complicated, um, it may be even like studio photography, it really depends. Like, you might want to get a college degree in that. And that's also like, if you want the college experience, then college is great, um, but it is an expense. So because of that, um, I wanted to provide mentoring at a reasonable price um, for photographers who were just kind of getting into it, but still had tons and tons of questions. Um, and there's a lot of photographers who do offer mentoring sessions because they've been doing it for years, um, but their hourly rate is honestly much more expensive than a beginner can afford at first. So because of that, I wanted to provide uh, mentoring sessions at an affordable rate, kind of like piano lessons would be affordable, like violin lessons, you know, that type of, basically like providing sessions at those type of rates. Um, and so that way, uh, we can grow a relationship with each other and like, and I can help you learn without you having to like go in tons of debt, you know, at college, trying to get this degree that you really, really love, but it's not, um, it's expensive, you know, it's just expensive. And so because of that, yeah, so the fifth thing was, I love talking about photography, and so I wanted to provide a way um, for me to provide educational to photographers that's one-on-one -on -one and not just like video form like this. Like YouTube is great, um, but I think there's definitely something to like sitting down with someone and asking questions and being able to like have like um, either weekly sessions, bi-weekly sessions, or like once a month, twice a month. You really, you can do whatever you want to do. Like it's, it's flexible. Um, and so that way you can do it however your budget, however like um, whatever your budget is, you can make it work for you. So my favorite five things about photography um, are golden light. So beautiful and fun. And then working with seniors. And then the Canon 50 millimeter lens, aperture of 1.2. And then macro photography. Um, that is just something that um, I've loved for a while and very passionate about. Um, and if you'd like to like have more education on macro photography, like let me know because I'm like super like obsessed with macro photography. It's like really funny. I just love it. So if you want to see more videos um, about those things, then um, please feel free to write any questions you have in the comments. Um, this can be geared towards any of these five things I've talked about. So golden light, working with seniors, the 50 millimeter lens, the macro lens, or talking about photography. So feel free to ask any questions that you have about any of these things. Um, and if you'd like to see more content like this in the future, then please feel free to like this video and subscribe. And thank you so much for watching.